okay so now i am going to cover do while activity so it's a looping activity okay so do while and while and for each so those are the activities we used to uh, we used to say that is looping activities okay and go to uh, design panel and click on sequences here you say do while activity click enter drag and drop do while so the do while so if you see so what is the meaning of do while so it will execute the body first then it will check the conditions okay if you go to control panel type uh, control activities or uh, do while do while and you see uh, if you uh, move your uh, mouse cursor over this option it will say execute contained activities first and then loop if the condition is true okay and so as you know this do while we use for looping so for the repetitive iteration okay and let's say uh, I'm going to create a one uh, variable so that is to uh, increment numbers and for that uh, so I will initialize some numbers okay the counter so initialize in slice let's say counter okay in slice counter and here uh, I'm going to create a variable that is uh, counter counter the variable type is integer and uh, so here I'm going to call the counter variable and here I'm going to add one okay and here in this condition I'm going to write the conditions let's say counter less than or equal to uh, 5 okay so first if I execute this activity as I initialize counter it will store number 1 then it will come here then it will check counter less than or equal to 5 okay so again if I execute again it will come here and it will check less than or equal to 5 okay so it will go um, countless time because there is no condition to increment the numbers okay so only it will you no know, keep on execute because the counter always one then the one less than or equal to five is it true yes true okay so let's say i'm going to write a number so that is uh, counter okay counter dot to string okay because uh, i'm going to uh, print my numbers okay in the console panel and uh, here I want to increment this particular counter right so just drag and drop uh, and assign activity this is for uh, increment increment uh, counter okay and here uh, call your counter uh, variable and in this uh, expression editor you can add counter plus one okay so let's say so once I execute this workflow, it will store count one uh, the number one into counter. Then coming here and it will execute the action. Okay, so in this place you can put so uh, the act activity and uh, it's based on your project requirements. Okay, and in this case, just I'm explaining how this loop is uh, repeated uh, repetitively doing your uh, executing your activity. So here the repetitive in the sense I added here right line activity okay and then here it's coming here and here the counter is 1 plus 1 then it's 2 right then again it will check here 2 less than or equal to 5 is it true yes then again it will go to the uh, beginning and again it will loop it okay can we try this and go to debug panel step into and just step into and see the counter the data type is integer 32 the value is 0 and step into here the counter integer 32 the value is 1 okay it's stored in the counter it's stored into i mean stored as a value 1 and step into okay now it's going inside the body okay and step into see here it's a printing the counter uh, value right here is a 1 here then it's coming here and you see the counter become 2 because the initialized counter is 1 plus 1 2 okay 
now checking the condition here 2 less than or equal to 5 is it true yes then again it's going back and again it's executing the uh, steps okay then it's a printing 2 then coming here and the 2 plus 1 because now in the counter variable th there was 2 2 plus 1 now 3 3 the condition checking 3 less than or equal to 5 yes true then it's going again so again coming and executing the same uh, activity and checking I mean the storing the counter and again it's a 4 that's coming and executing the 4 then again if it is a 5 okay now it's a coming out okay so then step into step into now it's done okay so this is how the do while um, will execute okay first it will execute the condition uh, then uh, it will check I mean uh, first it will execute the activity then it will check for the conditions but a while it's a quite opposite first first it will check the condition then it will execute the activity okay and that's it about dual activity can you guys